Hello. So, oh, you can't see it, can you? There we go. Uh, salute 2020. And yes, I know it's 2021. Um, basically, the salute that was meant to happen in April 2020 happened today. So it's salute 2021. But everything's 2020. Which is fine, because, I mean, everyone wanted to go in 2020. We just couldn't. So, I suppose it's a good thing it's happened now. Anyway, as usual, here's my review from what I saw and what I got. So, quite nice to see this time, not that you can see it all on here, but look, it's not a plastic bag. What is it? It's a tote bag. So, it's got the Salute 2020 Get Ready with, I believe it's a Spitfire, the Scramble Battle of Britain 1940, South London Warlord. And on the back, as usual, we have sponsored by KR Multicase, Wayland Games. There we go. So, uh, yeah, it was quite good. It was There were sort of lacking in certain stalls. Um, I presume, you know, Covid, perhaps Brexit has had an effect on this. And they've chosen not to come for whatever reason. Um, but you did have to uh, get a COVID passport to get into the venue where you get a little, um, oh, am I showing it? Probably not. Like a uh, XL London paper wristband that you receive after showing your COVID passport so they know that you are double vaccinated and or tested negative for COVID. There's a stamp because I went out and back in again. Um, yeah, so I suppose in that sense it was actually done quite well with uh, COVID security in mind, but still seemed like a lot less people than normal. And I don't know if that is due to the like, requirement to either have a negative test or double jabbed or, or people not wanting to go because of crowded spaces, which is completely understandable. Um, but yeah, anyway, it was still really good to go. I liked going. Um, so yeah, so what was in the bag? So I haven't actually took my purchases out of this. Uh, so yeah, um, what have we got? Oh, we have some plastic cutlery because someone we were with got a selection of cutlery and of course it didn't all get used and I didn't want it to get thrown in the bin. So I'll take that to work and use it uh, and some napkins because again, I can take those to work and use them. Uh, there's my ticket. And here's my purchases. Right, so they were also handing out, and notice, notice the difference on this one, look, 2021. So they got handed out alongside the bags, and the bags had the book that says Salute 2020. Now, see this one was handed out, was ready in the bags, um, and presumably was put together in advance of the 2020 show so there's the the floor plan there and then this one that we got is just a couple of pages and this has the updated floor plan See? so it is a little bit different still got the painting competition dead center seating area and display area center at the top but I think with the exception of some of the larger stores I think there were some differences in who attended I guess we'd have to look at the uh, traders list which I haven't actually compared but I suspect I suspect if we scrutinize that we would quite probably find that quite a few people off this one are missing on this one Although it does look like the, there's not much of a difference. But at just a glance you can see those last few columns are, are empty there at the bottom. So, yeah. so there were a few empty spaces, but not many. Uh, so what do we get in the, in the magazine that was prepared a year ago? So of course we have the competition winners from last year. Actually sorry, not last year, the year before. This would be the competition from 2019, wouldn't it? Yeah. Here we go. 
Let you all have a quick look at that. Uh, free tickets to tabletop gaming. Ooh. So of course information in this like come to stand TA14 would be potentially slightly out of date. But it seems a waste for them to reprint all the magazine, doesn't it really? Oh there's the miniature from this year. Yeah, usual stuff. Probably all like, why are we looking through the magazine? I've had enough. Okay, so we'll put that there. Oh, look, and there's the, the old date as well, so it was meant to be on April 18th. And this is it's November 13th, 2021. There we go. And we've got an uh, advertisement, I presume. Yes. Uh, Woodland Scenics, Absolute 2020. I presume they were here this year. <laughs> Otherwise this advertisement might be a bit um, disappointing. I think they were. Then I was handed this by Zing Industries. Oh, another one in there as well. And they do some quite cool like um, I think their coolest thing is probably the, the little fires they do. So they have little artificial tea lights. And they put black foam. See the flickering LED explosion slash wreck marker. And they're quite cool. And they tend to do quite a bit of sort of lighting and stuff for, so you can get like lighting sets and that to illuminate your things. They're really good. And we got a flyer for a Milton 100 War Games Club presents Broadside Game Show 2021. Saturday, 4th of December, 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. And I quite like this. Non war gaming partners and children under sixteen entry for free. Enter for free, sorry, when accompanied by a paying adult. That's quite nice to see, isn't it? There we go. In case you're interested, press pause, write down the details, get in touch with them. And where's my dice? There's my dice. So red and blue dice. Scramble, it says on that side. Is that focusing? Probably not. There we go, scramble. And on the opposite side, we have South London Warlords Salute 2020. And then we've got our little figure for this year Salute 2020, Battle of Britain 1940. Battle of Britain 1940, this fine pewter miniature presented by South London Warlords, sculpted by Paul Hicks. There we go. And it's in one piece this time. You don't have to put this one together. Little boy with a spitfire. So yeah. That's all the stuff in the bag. And then, I don't know, does anyone want to see what else I've got? I've got myself an Org Pain Buff. Got some bags of bits. A few in there. And got myself two. Little orc motorbikes to paint from uh, is it Leslie's Bits Box? It's definitely Bits Box. So, and I paid six pound for the two. And the lady on the store wrapped them up over so carefully for me in rubber wrap. So I got them back whole and in one piece. In there. It's a, some of the bits. Basically, uh, one of the stores does fifty pounds worth of bits in a bag for a tenner, and these are from. Ah, oh, I've just shown you the the brochure. I can't remember. 
let's get it out. Where's the brochure? From these guys, Zinge, Zinge Industries. And they do 10 bags of bits for £10. So you get 10 bags of these. I won't show you all of them because like, you're probably not even seeing them properly on this camera. But yeah, loads and loads of bits. There we go. And that's it. That's all I'm going to show you. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I know I haven't put up many videos this year, if any at all. I can't even remember. Probably the toilets video in January. Um, and we're now in November. And I've tried. I did record some videos. Some hair tutorials. And then I just haven't got around to editing them. So sorry about that guys, but uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get them up soon, probably next year now, um, but yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, see you soon, bye!